China is currently building a tunnel that will be twice the length of the Channel Tunnel, and that's not even the craziest thing on this list. Today, we're counting down the 10 most jaw-dropping mega-projects China has unleashed on the world. Trust us, this countdown gets crazier with each project. Number 10. Fan County Viaduct When most countries build bridges, they're usually trying to make commuting easier. China, however, built an 8-kilometer monster just to move coal and not in small doses either. The Fan County Viaduct is part of a 2,000-kilometer railway stretching across China, designed to carry trains so long they look more like moving cities. We're talking up to 2.5 kilometers in length, loaded with 20,000 tons of cargo, and zipping across a bridge supported by 216 towering piers. The tallest pier alone stands as high as a 20-story building, with foundations drilled 91 meters into the ground to keep everything rock solid. The payoff? Transport times are cut in half, saving billions in logistics. But here's the twist, this isn't just about efficiency. It's about showing how China can flex its economic muscle by literally reshaping national supply chains with one project. This isn't just a bridge. It's a steel and concrete declaration of intent. And if you think that's heavy, wait until you hear about the hydropower plant that can power entire countries. Number 9. Bai Hitan, Hydropower Plant. China doesn't just build dams. It builds them like it's competing in a heavyweight title fight. The Bai Hitan hydropower plant cost a cool $26 billion and was finished in only five years, which is absurd when you realize it stands the height of a 95-story skyscraper. At its core are 16 generator units with a combined output of 16 gigawatts, enough to supply power to tens of millions of homes. The reservoir behind Bai Hetan is staggering holding as much water as 8 million Olympic swimming pools. But this isn't just a flashy engineering stunt. The plant is part of the Yangtze River's massive hydropower network, a system that churns out 300 billion kilowatt-hours annually, replacing the need for 90 million tons of coal. That's like taking 5 billion trees worth of carbon absorption and compressing it into one megastructure. China calls it renewable energy. Critics call it a flex of geopolitical dominance. Either way, by Hitan shows that green energy projects can be just as colossal and intimidating as fossil fuel ones. But don't get too comfortable, because the next project makes even this giant look small. Number 8. Three Gorges Dam The Three Gorges Dam is the kind of project that makes other dams look like garden ponds. With an investment of $37 billion, it remains the largest hydropower project on Earth. The dam itself weighs 65.5 million tons, which is about the same as 180 Empire State Building Street act together. Construction stretched nearly 20 years, requiring enough concrete for 85 Burj Khalifas and enough steel for 60 Eiffel Towers. Its payoff is just as outrageous. The dam produces 100 terawatt-hours of electricity every year, enough to power either the entire state of New York or the entire Philippines. Beyond energy, it prevents catastrophic flooding along the Yangtze and cuts 100 million tons of CO2 annually. But the human cost was just as massive. More than 1.3 million people were relocated to make way for this colossus. Controversial or not, the Three Gorges Dam is a symbol of China's willingness to gamble big and usually win big. And speaking of big gambles, how about flattening 700 mountains just to make space for a brand new city? Number 7. Leveling Mountains for Cities when most cities run out of space, they expand outward or upward. China's answer? Expand. Through the mountains. In the case of Lanzhou New Area, the country literally bulldozed 700 hills, moving 700 million cubic meters of earth about enough to fill 260,000 Olympic swimming pools, all so they could start fresh with an entirely new city. This wasn't some small experimental zone either. The terrain modification alone cost $2.5 billion, with the total project exceeding $11 billion. The new city covers 86 square kilometers larger than New York City and is expected to house 3.5 million residents by 2030. Economically, it's projected to contribute $27 billion to China's GDP, making it not just a vanity project but a future powerhouse for Western China. It's the kind of thing that sounds absurd until you remember who we're talking about. Only China could look at a mountain range and say, yeah, let's just move it out of the way. But here's the thing, 
If flattening mountains for cities blows your mind, wait until you see the kinds of cultural landmarks they're building next. Number 6. Guangzhou Opera House and Harbin Opera House China isn't just flexing with railways and dams, it's flexing with culture. The Guangzhou Opera House, designed by the late, legendary Zaha Hadid, looks less like a theater and more like something Mother Nature herself carved with rivers and canyons. With 70,000 square meters of floor space and room for 1,800 seats, it's a $200 million statement that China can stage art with the same drama it builds skyscrapers. But then came the Harbin Opera House, which basically said, hold my violin, costing $260 million. This one shines with 30,000 reflective aluminum panels, making the whole structure look like a frozen wave in motion. Inside, it's part concert hall, part cathedral, and part sci-fi film set. These opera houses aren't just about acoustics. They're cultural megaphones, a way for China to broadcast to the world that its architectural creativity is just as loud as its industrial power. Because sometimes the most powerful flex isn't moving 20,000 tons of coal, but building a theater so stunning that tourists come just to stare at the outside. And if you think that's theatrical, wait until you see how they turned an ordinary lake, crossing into an underwater engineering flex. Number 5. Taihu Tunnel if you've ever been stuck in traffic around a lake and wished for a shortcut, China has you covered with a 10.79-kilometer underwater tunnel. The Taihu Tunnel, built in just four years, is China's longest and widest, carrying six lanes across Lake Taihu. It stretches 17.45 meters wide, which is roomy enough to make western tunnels feel like tight-squeeze driveways. Before, crossing the lake meant a frustrating 30-minute detour. Now, it's an eight-minute cruise, all while surrounded by walls reinforced with 2 million tons of concrete enough to rebuild entire sections of the Great Wall if they felt like it. And it isn't just brute force. The tunnel comes tricked out with sleek LED lighting and environmental safeguards to keep the lake's natural beauty intact. But here's the deal. Taihu is just the warm-up. China is already planning the Yantai Dalian Undersea Tunnel which will stretch a mind-boggling 105 kilometers that's more than double the length of the Channel Tunnel. So, if you thought a 10-kilometer underwater highway was wild, just wait. Because the next stop is straight up into the clouds with one of the tallest towers on Earth. Number 4. Shanghai Tower. Welcome to the skyscraper that makes other skyscrapers feel insecure. The Shanghai Tower, at 632 meters, is not only the tallest in China but the second tallest in the entire world. Built for a cool $4.2 billion, it isn't just a tower, it's a vertical city. The design is clever too. Its nine stacked cylindrical sections twist a full 24% as they rise. Which isn't just stylish, it reduces wind load dramatically, saving both material and maintenance. Then there's the double glass skin, a sustainability flex that cuts energy use by 21%, proving that size doesn't always have to come with waste. Inside, it's not just offices and malls. There are high-end retail spaces, leisure zones, and even the world's highest observation deck, where you can look down on other skyscrapers like their Lego pieces. The elevators? They hit 74 km per hour, making them the fastest on the planet, essentially roller coasters that take you to a boardroom instead of a loop-de-loop. -loop. The Shanghai Tower isn't just architecture, it's a bold announcement. China doesn't just build tall, it builds smarter, greener, and flashier. But as jaw-dropping as going up can be, the next project proves that sometimes the most impressive journey is across and over water. Number 3. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Bridges are usually local conveniences. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is a 55-kilometer engineering epic that ties together three of the most important cities in southern China. At $20 billion, it's the longest sea bridge in the world, complete with viaducts, an undersea tunnel, and two artificial islands built to keep it all stable. And it wasn't built in calm conditions either. Engineers had to fight through 500-plus storms, unstable seabeds, and enough logistical headaches to make most governments give up. The payoff? A trip that once took three hours now takes just 30 minutes. That's more than a bridge, it's a time machine. The economic impact is just as massive. The bridge anchors the Greater Bay Area, connecting 86 million people and a combined GDP of nearly $2 trillion. It doubles cargo capacity between the cities, making trade flow smoother than ever. Symbolically, it's the ultimate connector not just of roads, 
but of economies, cultures, and ambitions. For China, this is an infrastructure, its geopolitical choreography in concrete and steel. And here's where it gets even crazier, because if you thought a sea bridge this size was bold, just wait until you hear about the project sitting at the very top of our list. Number 2. Beijing Daxing International Airport Airports are a thing of beauty around the world, but this one looks like it was designed by aliens with a flair for interior design. The Beijing Daxing International Airport, nicknamed the Starfish, $63 billion. Aviation Palace spread across 700,000 square meters, making it one of the largest terminals on Earth. It has got four runways ready to handle 1,700 flights per day, expandable to six, and can push through 100 million passengers annually. Translation? That's basically the population of Egypt flying through one building every year. And it isn't just about size. The design is futuristic yet efficient, with swooping skylights that make the terminal glow, plus seamless connections to metro and high-speed rail that can whisk you downtown in just 20 minutes. Underneath all that elegance sits raw muscle. 1.6 million cubic meters of concrete and 52,000 tons of steel holding it together. But here's the kicker, this establishment relieves the overcrowded Beijing Capital Airport, while also signaling that China's not just moving people, it's reshaping global air traffic. And if you think a starfish airport is outrageous, wait until you see the crown jewel, a project so bold it plans to burrow through the ocean itself. Number 1. Yantai Dalian Undersea Rail Tunnel And here it is, the mega project everyone's waiting for, the one that makes engineers both sweat and salivate. The Yantai Dalian Undersea Rail Tunnel isn't just ambitious, it's rewriting the playbook. At a projected $27.8 billion, this tunnel will stretch a mind-bending 105 kilometers under the Bohai Sea that's twice as long as the Channel Tunnel and longer than Japan's Seiken Tunnel. Once complete, it will carry 200 high-speed trains daily, turning what is currently an 8-hour slog into a 40-minute glide. Imagine having your commute shrink by 90%, except instead of traffic, you're flying under the ocean at bullet train speed. Pulling it off requires moving 90 million cubic meters of earth and deploying tunnel boring machines taller than apartment buildings. Add to that 5 million tons of steel, enough to build 60 Golden Gate bridges, and you start to see the scale. This project is more than just about speed or bragging rights. It's also about locking down economic integration, supercharging trade, and quietly proving that China can literally redraw geography when it wants to. The Yantai Dalian Tunnel is a true glimpse into the future, where borders and oceans are no longer obstacles, just construction challenges waiting to be solved. And this concludes our journey through 10 insane mega projects by China. Which one fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments.